Yeah, my first reaction is a uh, unbelievable glad with uh, the whole period uh, this year where, where we work from start to finish. That we started learning and we learned all the way and we got the chance to give the players the environment to be in all kinds of different situations against different opponents, against different styles of play that they uh, till the end uh, fight it for the result, fight it for Dutch football, fight it for themselves and it gives a little bit uh, the belief and, uh, and uh, how do you say, the feeling back that, that uh, we in Holland needed after a difficult period and that we have still have a lot of talents and that it's possible if we keep working hard and we work as a team that we can achieve something and that's unbelievable to, uh, to uh, experience with, with uh, a group of players with uh, hearts of lions so really glad yeah, my first reaction is just to say I'm very happy with the trophy that we won the Euros. <coughs> Last year I, was, I wasn't there, so this year I had another chance to, to yeah, just win the trophy. We work hard this year and yeah, <coughs> oh, yeah, or we work hard and yeah, just want to win the trophy this year. That was the first, yeah, first thing we won and yeah, now we have the trophy. Keith, from a personal side of view, you've come to the tournament, played six matches, won six matches. It couldn't have been much more perfect for you, really. Nah, it, it was. Yeah, it started with a, with a great win against Germany, uh, on, in which uh, the, these age uh, never won uh, against Germany. This year we played twice. We had lost one time and we draw one, and then you start your first match winning 3-0. But it could could have been much more. So that was for me a sign that the team was really ready after a, a long and, and heavy season that they were ready to play a tournament. Uh, yeah, so I'm very delighted with uh, what they achieved and what they managed to get. And uh, when we spoke on Friday, you said that you'd rather it didn't go to penalties, but I guess after another penalty shootout victory, you don't mind if it's going to win you the tournament. No, yeah, I can say that now, but. <laughs> In front, uh, it was so emotional game. Also from the side, uh, playing well, starting well, and then uh, losing the grip of the game, uh, then uh, control back again for the second half, scored one up, and then in, in a couple of minutes uh, two one down. So and then it looked really hard and, and difficult to to fight back. But then uh, uh, again the compliments for the team, keep fighting. Uh, the substitutes again make, made an important difference to switch the game, to turn it around with the goal of Robbie and, and some of you who, who with his small posture gives a lot of uh, power and, and danger from the right side. So uh, yeah, and then we finished in a way like penalties, like uh, yeah, that's an unbelievable uh, achievement I think from all the guys. What's the secret for guys' penalties? Well, the secret is that we uh, we practiced it on uh, a lot. We, we put pressure on taking uh, penalties. Uh, we made some appointments in taking penalties. Some some uh, routine. Stick to the routine. Take your time to take it. Pick your choice in what you're going to do. Stay with that and and execute. Uh, yeah, that's that's. In, in, in main uh, thing that's the, the, the reset uh, and that we knew who, who, who uh, took a penalty well so that's that we got a list from the numbers of players who, who were sure to take one and yeah that's that's the, the secret about it what was obviously going through your mind the game changed in a matter of moments what was going through your mind as those two italy goals went in uh, I thought in the end it was, I think, uh, 10 minutes or 9 minutes to go and, and the Italians, uh, would, they know how to, uh, how to uh, equalize the game or how to, how to shut it, so I thought that would be very difficult. Uh, I must say that uh, a lot of respect from the Italians, uh, the opponents, they deserve uh, 
a lot of credits, I think. Uh, I said to the Italians, uh, I think we have two number ones, that's them and, and us, like the way how they played and how they fight back, and the way they uh, fight for their country and for each other, unbelievable. Uh, so, yeah. And obviously, as you touched on earlier, Holland are going for a rough spell, uh, obviously not qualifying for the World Cup this summer. When you see such young talent coming through and winning massive tournaments like this, how, how bright is the future for Dutch football? Yeah, hopefully that it looks bright again, but uh, the guys know as well that the, that the road is a long way and they have to keep, uh, develop themselves. Uh, they won a trophy now, they, they now belong to the, to the top of the European uh, of their age. But it doesn't mean that in, uh, in, in three or four years that you still are top on the end. That's that was what we learned from the past. When we won two times, uh, there are also a lot of players who didn't reach the top. So uh, it doesn't end here. It, is, uh, it, it should be a, a push in the back from the guys to go all the way. And hopefully they can help uh, Dutch football again to some trophies with the 18. Okay, sure. Sorry to keep you away from the celebrations, yeah. but today yeah, we've already seen people like Robin van Persie, Edwin van der Sar have already tweeted their congratulations. What does it mean for them to be proud of you and your colleagues? Yeah, I think um, the final is, is, a, is a big game for, uh, yeah, in the year also. For us, it was just like, yeah, do our own, own thing and yeah, just play how we play always. And yeah, then we will see after the game uh, how it goes. And yeah, we yeah we are happy now. And yeah, I don't know what I need to say. I'm I'm very happy. Yeah, that's the only thing I can say. And um, on Friday, you said that. Um, you wanted to see how this match went before you ranked how important this was this season. Now you've lifted the trophy, how does this compare to your achievements this year? Um, I lost the Youth League final, so there was, yeah, it was a shit feeling for me. So, <laughs> now, I, I, the last final with the, the Euros, and yeah, I'm going to win the trophy, so yeah, now I feel a little bit better. And yeah, um, I'm, the season is done now, so I can... And uh, when you come back after the summer, what are your personal what are your personal targets for next season, both with Chelsea and with Holland? Um, yeah. Next season, I want to do like the same. But yeah, I want to be I want to be a better player. So every time when I when I go to Chelsea next season, I want to trade hundred percent every trade. So yeah, this year was my first year. I need to settle a little bit. So now I'm settled. So my second season to, to show where I got so that's what I want. And uh, Keith, from you? Okay, I'm just trying to interrupt if nobody has a question yet or uh, <laughs> Michelle? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, thank you. <laughs> 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 okay, sorry for that. And uh, Keith, um, from a personal, what, from a personal point of view, what are your targets for this team for the next year or for the next few months? They move on to uh, under 18s, under 19s, so they have uh, a next goal for them to qualify with the under 19s for for the Europeans for next year and and to make the next step in their career first with the clubs and then uh, with, with the national team as well. And, and we hope uh, and we hope and we have to keep on pushing that those talents make the steps that they need to make to uh, to be the player of. of uh, Dutch national A team uh, in a few years, so uh, it's a big uh, push in the back, but it, it's not finished now. Uh, they were very strong. They were a team. They fight it. They uh, they scored two goals against us, which didn't uh, team, uh, many teams achieved. I thought England was a, a, a very strong side as well. Spain was strong, so yeah. But uh, we knew in a final, uh, you never know, and uh, you have certain powers come above in teams, and you have to keep fighting, and, and, and that's the main quality of Italy. They can fight; they are a team, and they know how to win a game. 
they don't mind if it's good, a good play or bad play, they just know how to win. And so a lot of respect for them and I feel sorry if uh, you, you see the faces and uh, also the disappointment for them because they also deserve and, and fight for the, for the trophy. Um, but yeah, I think we, we were the luckiest uh, also in this uh, tournament. Would you argue that you didn't play it as well as you could today, but you won the tournament, which is more important than anything? Well, it is about winning. That's, that's, I think that's also one big thing that we need to learn in Holland, that it's about winning. And it's not always that uh, we are famous about nice play and never win something. And uh, I think in this team, we played matches where it, it wasn't nice and it wasn't always play from the back, it was more direct. That's also a style that we can play, or that they, they can play, um, and uh, so, yeah, that, that's a big lesson, uh, I think, for them, but it should be for us that it's about winning, and uh, sometimes it's nice, and sometimes it's not so nice, but I, I saw a period in the game today that we play very well, and I saw individual players where, where we can be glad that we have those players. Hopefully they can keep on growing so we, uh, we can enjoy them a few years later as well. Chris, how does this rank as an achievement for you personally, lifting this trophy? For you personally, what does this mean? Um, yeah, I'm not so busy with, with my personal... I'm glad for the, for the process we made from start to finish. I'm glad for the players that they... Uh, experience what it is to to go all the way and to learn. I'm happy that they felt if if they if they keep fighting uh, individually and together that they can achieve something. But for my yeah, I, I have a good feeling now. I would be have a bad feeling when when you don't win it. But uh, it's not so much about my uh, uh, personal uh, trophy. Uh, I'm glad for the team, I'm glad for Holland, I'm glad for, and also a little bit for myself, because I know I, I, I mean, with all my staff we did the hard work, so that's a reward, but yeah, that's it.